One of the big questions that has been asked by people ever since Shadow Generations was announced was when does the storyline, when do the events of this story take place? Does it take place before Sonic Generations? Does it take place during or does it take place after? You know, people have been wondering when does the game take place? When does this storyline take place in the Sonic timeline? Well, wonder no more people. We have our answer. Shaq News. Uh, did an interview with Takashi Azuka, the head of Sonic Team, and he was able to give us our answer to the question of where Shadow Generations takes place. Where does this take place in the Sonic timeline from a lore and story perspective? Sonic Generations and Shadow Generations are two different games that you'll be choosing to you know, play from the very beginning of the game. Uh, so you can choose to play through Sonic first or you can choose to play through Shadow first. But from a story perspective, it's all happening kind of at the same time. So in Sonic Generations, you know, the time meter comes, everyone gets sucked into the white space, uh, and the game begins. Shadow Generation starts in the same way. We have the time eater event happen, and what happened in Sonic's world is also in parallel happening in Shadow's world. So the story is Shadow's story, but it's kind of happening in parallel to the events of what's going on in Sonic Generations. So as you can see, he said that Shadow Generations takes place during the events of Sonic Generations. When the Time Eater does its thing at the beginning and affects Sonic, it does the same thing for Shadow, which is pretty much what I think we all de uh, pretty much figured out that that was going to be how Shadow Generations is. It happens concurrently with the Sonic Generations storyline. It happens at the exact same time and eventually probably the storylines will converge when Shadow shows up in the Sonic Generations portion. That's probably how this his storyline will end. We'll get to see Shadow deal with the Time Eater, deal with Black Doom, deal with all this stuff, deal with the Bile Lizard, deal with all this stuff, and then he'll show up in Sonic Generations for Sonic Story and that'll be where Shadow Generations ends. So this isn't that big of a big of a surprise, a bit of a, not a super big breaking news thing, but it is nice to have, I guess, official confirmation as to where it takes place in the timeline so people don't start making wild theories or anything about where Shadow Generation takes place. No, it's pretty simple where this story takes place. It takes place during the events of Sonic Generations. Pretty cut and dry, happens at the exact same time, so that is nice. Now, a bit of a bonus thing we got during this interview is he also said, Azuka, uh, why there hasn't been a Sonic Adventure remake, despite the fact fans have been clamoring for it for freaking forever. So he, it was talked about, you know, he was pretty much asked, what was the idea beside, uh, behind making remakes? And it's, you know, he wants to give fans pretty much something to do while we wait for the next Sonic game. So there's still some Sonic content out there, and also, you know, it helps much older games that are not as accessible now be more accessible. So something like Sonic Generations, which is stuck on the PS3 and uh, Xbox 360 and all that, he felt that it was a this was a better way for a newer Sonic fan, maybe someone who got into it from the movies, to get into it more by re-releasing it, remastering it, and porting it over to the much more newer consoles, which I can understand that idea of wanting to bring older games to the newer audience so make it much more easier you know like for example like you know if they this is just hypothetical if they ever ported sonic heroes over we got our fabled sonic heroes remake crossing fingers that that would be the way because sonic heroes is stuck on stuff like the gamecube or the ps2 as i look at it i'm looking at the play, my playstation 2 sonic heroes it is stuck on the old gen consoles that's the only way you can play a bar emulator so you know it would be nice to bring it over for modern audiences to people who haven't experienced the game before bring it over so they can experience it um but anyway that's like the reason why they're porting games and when he was asked about why sonic adventure or sonic adventure 2 have not been remade or remastered um, his answer was this. 
I have to ask because I see it every time, but like people love that game. I love that game. It's a fan favorite game. Do you guys have any plans for a remaster of that down the line in the future? Thank you very much. Yes, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 are two of my favorite titles, uh, so I really do want to remaster them and bring them to people, but they are really old. They're made with, you know, kind of older software, and in order to really remaster them and bring them to what we want to provide players on in this current generation, it takes a lot of work. So I'd like to believe that we could do this at some time, but we do realize it's a massive undertaking. So yeah, the answer was pretty much they run on an older engine and it's much more difficult to kind of port it over, which I, I, I kind of feels like a bit of a cop-out answer. I feel like it, there is more to it than that. And he's just using like, oh, they run on a much older engine. So that's why we can't port them over. I don't think it would. that's the case. There's many games that have been on older consoles that have easily been ported over to newer ones. So this excuse doesn't sit right with me. I think there's something else. And I, we can only speculate on what that is, but I don't think that his answer is the, the real correct answer as to why we haven't gotten Sonic Adventure 1 or 2 ported yet. Um, I mean, at this time, it is still accessible in a way to play Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. It's not entirely hard, I mean, besides tracking down the Dreamcast versions or whatever. You can play... Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 on the PS3 still you can download them digitally from the PlayStation 3 store which I did so I have Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 digitally on my PlayStation 3 so I can still play them you know it's not hard to do it of course there's stuff like maybe maybe they're on Steam I think Sonic Adventure is on Steam uh, I don't know about Sonic Adventure 2 but there is of course of course you could emulate it you know there's that but there is still accessible ways to play them, but it would be nice to get that official here's the remat here master, or more appropriately, here's the remake of these two huge tempo games in Sonic's history. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Just wanted to talk about these two little news. Uh, little bites here from this interview with Azuka. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments down below, and I will see you all next time.